Well, it's funny, you know, people get enamored by the sexy things. I look at things like critical infrastructure and the economic gains associated with really unlocking the power of the assets that are sitting in critical infrastructure are going to be staggered. Things like optimal performance, low downtime, just the transient impact that those are going to have on people that are depending on those. Um, that is going to be enormous, and right. that's the thing that excites me the most. Yes. This brownfield world that's been intentionally excluded from enterprise networks and cloud computing, the ability for us to open that up yeah. has really maximized the potential of these assets. That really excites me. The sexy stuff's cool too, yes. but pure economic gain right. and larger impact in terms of overall society, yeah. Yeah. I think that's what really gets me excited. Yeah. I'm actually today. excited about that part, right? I just am eagerly waiting to see what kind of innovation does the rest of the ecosystem come up with. Right. This is such a beautiful and you know, ripe opportunity for people and innovators. Sure, to I'm, I'm most excited about how it's going to change life. Yes. It's going to change everybody's life, how we interact with information. Right. It's going to make life more comfortable, yeah. more rewarding. Um, it's going to allow us to tie things that couldn't talk together before together. And as a result, we're going to get uh, an exponential value out of them. Yes. We'll get access to better information, um, the right information, not an overload of information. Um, it will make our physical life better, it'll make our intellectual life better, it'll make communications better. Right. In every dimension it's fantastic. So right. whether it's something that we're wearing or something that's built into our house or into our vehicle or on a power pole, yeah. all of this information will start to be shared amongst itself and it's going to improve the quality of life across the world. Yes. It's got to have the processing ability, the analytics has to be there to strip away a lot of data. Uh, there's a vast amount of data that will be useless. Absolutely. And, and so getting to, the, getting to the needle in the pile of needles that yes. you want is what it's all about. <laughs> getting to it effectively, efficiently, and securely is going to make this just a, a grand slam. Yep. <laughs> it's funny, I was talking to someone recently and I said, you know, think back to like 1999, 2000. Everybody was so excited about yes. you know, the internet boom. And, I remember these conversations about, yeah, I'm going to have a browser on the front of my refrigerator yeah. and it's going to take inventory and know when my milk sour and it's going to call my kind of grocer and they're going to come bring it to me. <laughs> it was fantasy that couldn't be delivered. What's cool, it can all be delivered now. You've got silicon at price points, at power dissipation, and at integration levels that enable that. You've got enough processing power in the silicon that allows you to put the intelligence on top of those devices. Yeah. That brings us all to fruition. Yeah. So all the things that people were dreaming about at that time frame, they're going to be easy to implement now. In the early 90s, we had this whole PC movement going on. Oh, yeah. We had the internet movement, and then the whole mobile computing kind of movement. I see this IoT as the next big frontier. Can't wait to see new usage models coming out.